All right, Brandon. Uh, so yeah, the one light above my, yeah, it went out. So it's about as, this is about as good it's gonna get. Um, so that one uh, stress frack, the stress crack I was talking about, it's right here. Um, like I said, it's, it's really hard to see. I, I have a picture, I did send it. And again, the way they lift these boats, like they actually put a strap through that eyelet right there. Then they put a strap through the two rear transom eyelets and they lift them and they suspend it. And they can roll and tip them and that's probably what caused it. They left my boat out and got full of water and it was probably overweighted. So that's what pissed me off when the first time I heard about it and then I drove down, picked it up, took a state of the mind. That's why I had the repairs. So <clears throat> um, if you look, I'll show you a little bit of the, so you can barely, you can barely see, but you see that? That's just from the boat bumper. Like I said, that just rubs. Like I said, I could take that off tomorrow, but as soon as we put it on the boat lift or the boat uh, trailer, it'll ding it. That's from my, that boat buddy. And that, that's common. You'll see that and all. Oh, it's not a big deal. Um, when I bought the boat, I had, a, I had the corners, the rear corners had some dings in it, uh, probably from the previous owner's. Um, you know, hitting other boats or something. I had those all fixed. Both corners were completely fixed. Uh, so that's all new gel coat. The full corners were sprayed. Um, teak deck, it's beautiful. Um, I, it, it's probably, uh, once in a while, I'll give it a heavy sanding, but I just oiled it. Um, and actually for surfing, I was gonna trim. I'll show you tomorrow what I was gonna do. I was gonna trim it. Um, it's pretty common with these guys. And then, so there's the hand grab. There's another guy that made a little step for it that I was gonna do. That's pretty sweet. Um, vinyl looks, you know, here's the, the rear deck. Uh, in the middle is the hexagonal vinyl. There's one spot, let me get up there. I just noticed it. I gotta find it. Some of these are hard to find. Like I said, I'm, I'm a bit of a nut. Um, one of these little hexagons come out. Oh, there it is. You see it right there. Uh, I did put little steppy things, little grip tape. Um, here's the other stress crack. Um, I'd probably take this, this tape off and you can put some uh, newer stuff. It's starting to get dirt on the edges. It's starting to look kind of shady. Um, so, that seat, that seat, that seat, and that seat, those four, those are all new. Uh, when Tyga made these, they put a seam across the middles and everybody steps on them. And so it, those seams broke really soon. So I fixed them. And he got really good at matching the vinyl color. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn close. Uh, it does, oh, I forgot to tell you, it does have a heater system. Um, there's the heater there, but the heater coil was broke. When I bought the boat, there was no heater box. Um, I never needed a heater, so I never replaced it, but 250 bucks, the boat can have heat. And this one comes out. Oh, I don't know if you can barely see that, but that one comes out. Oh, I can turn the lights on. Hold on a second, I'll make another video. And so here's, here's where the radio was. Uh, I custom a uh, little fab. Uh, that's an old Walmart cutting board, and I put a pocket in there. And so that's where all the cell phones go. There's the USB deal doohickey. Um, so when I took the radio out, the that hole right there was where the uh, remote part went for the radio, and that's where I'm going to put the ballast uh, plugs, the switches, the three switches. Um, Gauges. All right, I'm going to stop this video. I'll send this, and then I'll make another one. I'm going to get some lights turned on in here.